Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I have the LEGO EV3 Catapult. This thing is really cool. I've done videos on this before, but I don't think I've ever done the program. So for those of you that need to know what the program is for this, and then I also have the building instructions. This thing throws like a wiffle ball a long way, and I'm gonna show you that to you today, okay? So if you wanna see everything about the Catapult, Stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino here. Before we get to the video, a lot of you have asked Mr. Hino, what is your robotics curriculum? And I have finally put it together in a Google Doc. So if you guys check the description, I have left you a link to the Teachers Pay Teachers link. I've set this up for $3. Um, so if you hit up the link, it's just $3 and it gives you everything that I do for my curriculum, all video links, all project links. I've tried to put everything there for you guys to see what I do for my curriculum. So if you want to check it out, go for it. It's in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys. So like I told you before, check the description for the building instructions for this catapult. And then today I'm going to show you a brick program and a computer program to get this thing to launch something like a wiffle ball, some type of ball that you can put in to this holder here and have that thing get flung. So let's go ahead and take it to the table so you can see this thing. Okay guys, here you go, the EV3 Catapult. So it's running off of one large motor and your touch sensor and that's it, just two cables. So thank you to Ruby for building this. So what's gonna happen is the program's gonna have this touch sensor get touched. That's gonna activate the program. This large motor here is gonna just build up enough tension where it'll just fling this blue ball here, um, just like anything else, just like a catapult. So for those of you that maybe you don't have a computer nearby, let me just go ahead and show you the quick brick program for this. Okay guys, so for those of you that just wanna do a simple quick brick program, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go up here to the touch sensor. So when we push this ball down, that's what's gonna activate the touch sensor to get pressed. Now I wanna give this thing a little bit of time um, to just, I don't want the ball to get um, flung right away. So I'm just gonna do that D motor so that large motor is going to be plugged into D. And I'm just going to put this on for two seconds. I just want the motor to just sit there for two seconds. I'm just going to give um, the, myself a chance to press the touch sensor before something happens. So now that it waited two seconds, we're now going to use that same motor. And I'm going to have this bar go all the way down. And that's the part you can mess with. You can mess with maybe how much power you're giving this and then we're going to go to the uh, time block and we're just going to put this on for let's put it on for a half second and then what we want to do we don't want to have to always manually bring it back so we're going to have this motor just come back the same way and let's do that for a half a second also so let's just recap real quick touch sensor then it's just going to sit there for two seconds and just not do anything. Then that motor is going to build up tension, which should fling the ball. And then that motor should bring the catapult back to the starting position again with those last two blocks. And that should be it. Let's check out the program. Okay, for those of you on a computer, this is pretty much the same program, but on a computer. So there's a weight block for the touch sensor. And then I'm just going to make it wait for two seconds. And there is my D motor. And you'll just notice that the first one gets it flung and then the other block just brings it back to its starting location. And that's it. That's going to be the computer program for the catapult. Okay, so let's start this program. We're just going to push that down. Whoa, look how far that thing threw that.
You guys saw that. That ball went in. Yeah. Yes. Okay guys, so there you have it, the catapult. I really like it because it's just going off of physics here, letting that motor build up enough tension and then just whammo. So hopefully the program was good for you guys. You can mess with the program if things aren't exactly perfect, uh, but I love the touch sensor. I love that this thing can just, it's pretty accurate with, you know, it depends on what you're throwing, but you know, when we talk about robots and being consistent and accurate, this thing's pretty good. So hopefully you guys liked it. The EV3 Catapult. Thank you guys for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.